Okay, now we're entering into the second chapter of the fourth unit, and it's on loans. So we're going to read a monthly payment from a table, we're going to compute monthly payments using a formula, and then we're going to compute the finance charges on the loans. So example one says, what is the monthly payment for a 4,000 two-year loan with an APR of 8.5%? Now, important thing that I don't have on here, so I need you to kind of write it as a reminder to yourself, is this chart is the monthly payment per $1,000 that is lent. So it says here $4,000 two-year loan. So we're going to find your two-year loan, and it has a rate of 8.5%. And so here we've got the 8.5%. And where it meets up, here you see is $45.46. So what that means is if they got a $1,000 loan, that it would be $45.46. But they didn't get a $1,000 loan, they got a $4,000 loan. So if I break that out in per thousands, I'm going to take the $45.46 and I'm going to multiply it by 4 for a total payment of $181.84. For this check your understanding, please, please press pause, complete this, and come back to me when you're ready. All right, so it says Juan is borrowing a $41,000. So if we take the $41,000 and we divide it by a thousand, let me rewrite that, by a thousand, we know that it's going to come out to be 41. So it's 41 for five years at an APR or a rate of 6.5%. So let's go ahead and go back to our chart. And I'm going to go to this bigger chart here. We knew that it was five years, that it was 6.5%. So again, if we meet up our values, we're looking at $19 and 57 cents per thousand. So let's go back to our page here. $19.57 times, we found that there's 41 thousands. So we're going to multiply it by 41. And we find that the payment for this is going to be $802.37. All right, example two, it says, what is the total amount of the monthly payments for the 4,000 two-year loan with an APR of eight and a half? So we already found out that the monthly payment is 181.84. The key here is it wants to know what is the total amount paid after you paid all of those payments. It was for two years. So there weren't two payments. There was a payment each individual month. And because I know there are 12 months in a year, and two years at 12 months a year means that I made 24 payments of 181.84. So the total paid is $4,364.16. All right, please press pause, complete this, and come back to me when you're ready. Let's see how you did. It says the total of the monthly payments of a five-year loan is 71.71.20, and the APR is 7.25. How much money was originally borrowed? Well, we're going to have to do kind of some guessing here. We know that it was 71.71.20. And we know that that amount was paid in payments over a 60-month period. So if we take the 71, 71, 20, and we divide it by 60, we know that there were monthly payments of $119.52. So now we just have to kind of break it down and figure out how much 
we're looking at. So let's go back to our chart. I know that it's five years, and I know that it is at 7.25%. So bringing it down here, I'm looking at $19.92 per thousand. So going back to this, I'm going to take the $119.52, and I'm going to divide it by that value. And I forgot what it was, so let's go back to it real quick. $19.92. So we're going to divide $19.92. When you plug that into your calculator, we've got $119.92. And 52 cents divided by 1992 tells us we get an answer of six. So remember what that's saying is there were six thousands, or the loan was for six thousand dollars. All right, example three it says find the finance charge for a four thousand dollar two year loan at an APR of 8.5%. So we already found out that the payments were $181.84 a piece. When we multiplied that by the two-year loan of 24, we found that it was a total of 43.64.16 that was paid. We already figured that out in examples one and two. Now it's just asking about how much was the finance charge. So I know that this here is my total payments and 4,000 was my principal. So if I subtract my principal from the total payments, I get that the total interest paid was 364.16. All right, please press pause, solve this, come back, and we'll get started again. All right, it says Carl is borrowing X dollars over a three-year period. The monthly payment is Y dollars. Expe express the finance charge algebraically. So I know I'm making 36 monthly payments for three years. Well, 3 times 12 gives me 36, so that's how I got that. 36 payments. That's going to give me my total payments minus the total paid or the total owed, and that was X, and there it is algebraically. So if you remember from the objectives, we said we were going to do it from a chart, but we're also going to do it using the monthly payment formula. Now for this, you're going to want to make sure you have a good calculator, and you're going to want to make sure that you're really particular about how you put it in. Um, I don't have an online calculator that's going to do this as correctly as it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is go through it and identify each of the values and give you a final answer. And you're going to want to practice that on your, on your calculator until you get it. So I know here that the principal is 28716. I know the rate is 0.0512. And I know that it is a four-year loan. So I've identified my values. And you can see that I've already written out the monthly payment. And it is a pretty interesting payment. So as I'm going through, I'm going to very much highlight where you need to put parentheses. And in the end, you need to make sure that you have the same number of open parentheses as you do closed parentheses. And what does that mean? This is an open parenthesis. This is a closed parenthesis. So you have to make sure that they equal. You have the same number of open as you do closed. So let's plug this in. We start out with an open parenthesis, 28716, which is the principal. Another open parenthesis, 0.0512 divided by 12, close parenthesis. Then we have open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 .0512 divided by 12, close parenthesis, 
And I'm sorry, I'm running out. You know what? I'm actually going to rewrite it so we don't run out of. So give me a second to rewrite this. We've got 28,716, open parenthesis, 0 0.0512, divided by 12, close parenthesis, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.0512, divided by 12, all to the caret 48. Once we do that, we're going to hit our division sign. So this is divide. And then it goes to the bottom of the equation. So the next thing we're going to do is hit two open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.0512 divided by 12, close parentheses, 48 power. Let me rewrite that 48. 48 power, and then it's going to be minus 1 parenthesis. And you should end up with a final answer of $662.87. So what I want you to do with this one, again, because I don't have a calculator that I can pull online here to show it to you, I want you to go ahead and practice this. You've got it up here. You can press pause so that you can see when you have open parentheses, when you have closed parentheses, and just follow along with that. All right, please press pause. Here's another great opportunity to use that calculator and see if you can understand how to get that incorrectly to solve for this particular problem. When you're ready, press play, and we'll finish up. All right, let's see how you did. I'm going to go ahead again and put this into the calculator just as you should be putting it into the calculator and we'll see if you got the same answer. So my monthly payment equals the open parenthesis 1000, another open parenthesis 0 0.075 divided by 12, close parenthesis, open parenthesis 1 plus point 0 0.075 divided by 12, close parenthesis, caret to the 12th power. Here you're going to divide, and then you're going to have open, open parenthesis. So you need two of them. And you're going to have point, I'm sorry, 1 plus point 0 0.075 divided by 12, that shouldn't be a point 12, it should just be 12, close parenthesis, caret 12, and then minus 1, close parenthesis. So that's what it should look like. And when you get done, you'll get an answer of 86.757. So that's going to round that up to 86.76. Now, just to give you a comparison here, let's take it back to the very, very beginning. And I'm looking at the chart here, and it says here, let me go ahead and erase this part. It says here that I had a $1,000 loan for 7.5% at one year. And if you come down here, you'll see that it falls right in line with the chart at $86.76. Good job, everyone. See you in the third chapter.